Well, we seem to have something of a problem, don't we, with our, our negotiating team on this Brexit malarkey, uh, negotiating with uh, the European Commission, because we send people who haven't got any idea how to negotiate. Uh, we send politicians and civil servants, uh, and people who have quite deliberately, when they were at university, decided that they didn't want to go into commerce. Commerce was vulgar, they didn't want anything to do with that at all, so they went into politics, the civil service, or the law, or something like that. But it means, of course, that they have no idea how to negotiate anything. They're utterly hopeless. Unlike, of course, the French civil servants, which are trained very carefully uh, in uh, negotiation techniques. Uh, so the people that we actually send to negotiate uh, are totally unskilled. They're not even as skilled as people like you and me, uh, ordinary folk. Uh, who negotiate all the time. We negotiate if we buy a car, we negotiate if, uh, for a pay rise. Uh, we spend a lot of our time negotiating, admittedly in a small way, but the principles of negotiation are just the same. So I'd just like to use two analogies here to help people like Jeremy Hunt uh, and Matt Hancock and all the other losers who represent us in negotiations in Brussels. First, uh, if we go in to buy a car and we see this £25,000 price tag on the windscreen, we say to the salesman, mm, that's a nice car, a bit above my price range, uh, could I give you a bit less? Would you take a bid? And he may say yes, he may say no. Uh, and what we say is, oh, well, we're going to wander around some other showrooms. It's a shame. That's a nice car, but it's a little bit of by price uh, range. I'll give you my telephone number. Give me a ring uh, if uh, you change your mind and you can bring that price down a little bit. And you walk out of the showroom. We do it all the time. I mean, we bought cars uh, for years and years and years, haven't we? Or indeed uh, uh, any product uh, such as that in any showroom. Uh, so that's how we do. What we don't do, what we don't do right, is we go into a showroom, which is how our civil servants and our politicians seem to do it, and say, right, I like that car, I love that car. In fact, I think if I don't have that car, both me, my wife, my entire family think it will be a complete and total and utter disaster. So let's get the one very clear thing. I am not leaving this showroom until I buy that car. Right, uh, having established that, <clears throat> will you take a bid? <laughs> You know, the guy's not going to, is he? <clears throat> Let's just talk about going and getting a rise, OK? You want a rise, you've been with the company for years and years, you're a good guy, uh, and uh, we've all done it. We go to the boss and say, look, I'm a good guy, I've been with you for years and years, I've kept my nose clean, I'm a good lad, uh, I'd like another £5,000 a year. Um... And that's how we negotiate. What we don't do is we go and go and see the boss too and say, look, let's get one thing very, very clear indeed. I have no intention of resigning, absolutely no intention of leaving this company whatsoever. I love it. And that's the, so we've got that absolutely clear. But I do need another £5,000 a year. Uh, what about it, boss? Well, he wouldn't give it to you, would he? <laughs> Unless he was you know, a very, very nice guy. Uh, so it's negotiation. We do it all the time. Uh, we all do it. Buying a car, getting a raise, every Yorkshire housewife does it every day, probably in some form or another, some minor form or another. So can we just establish, please, politicians and civil servants, as soon as you've told the opposite number uh, that you're negotiating with, you have no intention whatsoever of withdrawing under any circumstances, you will never, can never do a deal. How is it you don't know this? How is it you don't know this? And everybody... In every pub, not just in Yorkshire, in the southwest, uh, the northeast, everybody in the pub knows this except you and probably people in London pubs who don't seem to get it much either. So please, for goodness sake, sort yourselves out. Sort yourselves out. Or well, this is just going to drag on and drag on. And it's humiliating. It's humiliating for our country. So Hunt and the rest of you, Hancock, so on and so forth, get a grip. Get a grip before you get your ass kicked.